It seems this ongoing issue of um, rape is still on as the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.E. E. Adibui, added his two cents. Although he didn't say specifically he was addressing the issue, but we all just assumed he was. Mm. He said he feels compelled to say some things to the up and coming ministers. And he also said, uh, we quote that, he said he would never have a private secretary who is a woman. His number the three least. points was mm. abstain from every appearance of, of evil. evil. Yeah. That is from First Thessalonians 5.22. And read and second that Tim, the Second Timothy 1 as well. The Second Timothy 1, when you find yourself facing lustful, I mean, youthful, youthful lust, flee. Don't Sorry. say you are highly anointed or something. Ask Samson. You may say I'm old-fashioned. I agree. I will never have private secretary with a woman. So the, the fact around it is that men are human beings. Mm -hmm. And like every human being, our body reacts whether they are, man, they are anointed or not. What the Bible recommends is that you flee every appearance okay. of evil. But does so, that suggest that it, is the women that are tempted? No, 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 no. It means you protect yourself right. as much as possible. Right. You, you will not carry your jewelry, your gold jewelry, and put it in the center table of your house. It's not that you don't trust your your I'm neighbors and your visitors, but you will not tempt yourself or tempt the person that's coming to visit you by putting your precious jewelry on the table. So that's the same thing. You protect what is important to you. There are lots of things I agree with right. on what he has said, especially on the temptation issue, because it's your mind that you know. Mm. You do not know the limit or shortcomings of the next person. So in Islam, we are trained not to take hands of the opposite sex, to not free, freely mix with the opposite sex. It doesn't mean we've judged the opposite sex that is coming to us as mm. going to abuse us. It's mm -hmm. just to protect yourself. Mm. So what he's saying, it doesn't mean, it, it, it simply is that whether you are called, like uh, anointed or whatever or not, mm. keep the distance required because you do not know among the female, let's assume that, that, that 100 female members working around you, you do not know who the one with the lustful Mindset, and you cannot be sitting down and dis, uh, deceive. Uh, what's called? Dis, dis, trying to, to decipher which of, which, which of them has a good intention to work with. But that's it's a lot of work on its own. So right. you can at, at, at least pick the people that will work around you to yeah. limit as much as possible the temptation that you'll be seeing. Okay. It's just going back to what God has said from the For beginning. For me, I think he's also talking about self because you only know yourself mm -hmm. and you don't know the next person, mm -hmm. and. They're talking, I, I like this part, why, that's why I said talk about you read it. It says, when you find yourself facing youthful lust. Mm -hmm. The thing is that, um, I think he's talking to especially young pastors. You're growing up, you're still trying to understand yourself. You're still trying to work on your flaws and your weaknesses. You're still faced with learning how to, you know, put body down, mm -hmm. you know, and allow the mind and Subject the spirit. Yes, you know. So those are struggles that you're fighting with, as well as, you know, having this anointing or this responsibility to guide the sheep. Mm -hmm. So now let's say that what is, 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 is my land. Oh, now. sorry, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> when you finally get to the point where you know you find yourself in this position, what is important is that that which is still hard for you to control, what is still hard for you, stay away from that, exactly. so that it does not affect the main reason that's why so you are a pastor or you are a leader. Let me talk about this thing.